sometimes horrible things happen to good people. Life isn't fair, and it can be heart-wrenching. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. When challenges and issues come back to back to back to back and it seems like something is after me, something is attacking me, something is attacking my journey, look for the lesson in it all. You will grow through what you go through. The question is, are you willing to go through it? When those bad things happen, what are you going to do? Are you going to let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it? Are you going to fall over, fall down, fall apart? Or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness. So embrace, embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it, own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking, take that step. Every day, no matter what you are facing, get up and start walking and never surrender. And remember that even in the most wretched times, when you face darkness yourself, no matter how bad things get, remember not to stop, remember not to pause, remember not to hesitate, remember to put one foot in front of the other, take that first step and start walking. And we will fight. And in fighting, we will win. And if not the battle, and if not the war, we will win because our spirit, it will never surrender. And that is the ultimate victory. That's just kind of the way that life works sometimes it's it's Murphy's law when things go wrong they always seem to happen at once and they just compound on top of each other and it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time but let me tell you that that doesn't mean give up in fact it means the opposite it means it's time for you to fight hard to dig in it means it's time for you to go on the war path when you feel like giving up don't when you're thinking about giving up don't when it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. You got to be relentless. What's the biggest problem? What's causing the most stress? Family? Okay. Sit them down. Explain where you are at. Be blunt. Be upfront and then give them the simple plan of how you're gonna get things back on track. Don't sugarcoat it. You give it to them straight. And then you get started. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it will be easy. It will be hard.
hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up. Dig in. Line up those problems and confront them. Face them. Fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, in fact, let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. So in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you. You made me better. We've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed. Mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. When you're down in that hole, look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice? No, do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. See, we gotta look our trauma in the face we got to embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. It's forming your future. It's pushing you forward. When you go through a storm, it strengthens you. When you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things, when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. Say, I'm going through a character-building experience. That setback is going to become a comeback. Go through the darkness, come out on the other side something new, and allow that person to change the world. I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting and giving up. Somebody who has been praying for years for things to turn around. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. You are folding, you are caving in. This is for you. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. Don't give up. Don't give up.
give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. When you fail, try again. And again. And again. You just take one step at a time. It's hard. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats. Because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. You thought for one minute that you broke me. You got me twisted. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally will. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running towards your dream. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Keep your head up. Stick your chest out. Continue to walk with pride. And know that if it was easy, everybody would do it. It's not going to be easy, but we have what it takes. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. Don't look at night as darkness. Look at night as a new beginning. Those days that you don't want to do anything? Were you too tired, too sore? You just don't feel like it? Those days? Those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. You're your biggest problem. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons and not let anything else push your buttons. You gotta move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nobody control your mood. You control your mood. You control your feelings. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what, including today. You aren't getting it any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up, it's showtime, let's go, get up. Go to class, get up, do your homework, work on your gift. It was given to you, but you gotta hone it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option. You've given yourself an out. You've given yourself an excuse, but you have what it takes to do it. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no drive. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. With success in life comes more haters. To all of the men and the women who work their ass off every f***ing day. Don't lose no sleep over these haters, man. The reason they got a problem with your life is because they don't have a life. 
The reason why they paying so much attention to all the amazing and wonderful things you got going on with your life and your career is because they don't have one. Never, ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, popping bottles with models, and all that shit, that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. I earned this shit, man. You got a problem with me? You go right on the head, homie. I sleep good at night because I've gotten rid of all things, people, and situations that were bringing drama, negativity, and dysfunction in my life. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that person who said you couldn't do something. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them in success. Find out who you are and own that motherfucker and tell people to go f themselves. Don't ever worry about anybody and what the f they think about you. I don't alter my mission at hand. No one f with me. Because I don't allow them to. It's got to be that way. It's got to be unconditionally focused. What that means is that if you are in and you believe in yourself, no one can change that. The weak motherfuckers of the world are committed when everything's a perfect set. But as soon as things get hard, they start having doubts. And why are the doubts? Not because of failing, because other people are saying stuff and they're giving value to these third party people as if they're gonna help them. No one's gonna help you. No one's ever gonna help you guys. You've gotta help yourself. Bet on yourself, believe in yourself. Don't allow anyone else's opinion, voice, actions to dictate what's going on. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Life is, it's not always easy. And you can't always win. At some point of your life, it hits you. It hits you really, really hard. The person you love doesn't love you back. You get fired. You lose a family member. At some point of your life, you're gonna hit rock bottom. You're paralyzed. You're like, why? And that why can really, really destroy you. Once you start asking yourself, why me? Why not the others? Why me? I'm actually a good person. I never did something significantly bad. Why the hell did it hit me? Because that's life. Life is unfair. Success is not measured on the days when the sun shines. Success is measured on the dark, stormy, cloudy days. And if you can't absorb failure, you're never going to meet success. Sometimes it takes things falling apart for better things to fall into place. Sometimes it takes the most uncomfortable path to lead your life to the most beautiful place. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be dark days, but you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Failure is what makes you stronger. You have to accept those down times because once you realize those down times are just as much part of life as anything else, you're able to strive again. You will never see the purpose of the storm until you see the growth it produced. You'll never understand why you went through what you went through until you see the strength, the power, the resilience that it built inside of you. Ask yourself why, but this why is a better why. Why am I doing this? Why am I failing? Why am I even getting myself in a situation where I could fail? Because I have a dream. Because I have goals. And the more you're thinking back to those original goals, the easier it is for you to get back up and say, all right, it might be difficult, it might be painful, it might be stressful, there might be no people that believe in me, but I believe in myself. You know, it might have been the case that you should have gone through that harsh breakup, that you should have gone through that heavy loss, just in order to find something even better. But the only way to get to that even better is to get back up and work to get back up and put yourself out there again and arise from that again, stronger, better, smarter, ready to grasp that new opportunity.
You got to believe the tables in your life will turn. That pain will become power. That weakness will become strength. And that confusion will become peace. Better things are coming for your life. Every day is a new beginning. It's time for you to start treating it that way. To anyone out there that's listening, that's started to go down, down in that hole, trapped in the chains of depression or addiction or rage. You're going through a tough time. Maybe you're walking through real depression. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. What will your response be? Are you going to sit back or are you going to step up? Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed. But I want to remind you that failure is not final. It's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. You might not be in control of the storm. But you can have the courage to face the storm and say, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to walk through this thing because I believe this thing is leading me to another miracle. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. If you make the decision to get up one more time, I'm telling you, you will win the fight. I know what you're going through. Countless hours sitting up, thinking if your life will ever get better. Thinking about everybody that's passed away, that's walked out your life. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? And no one really likes you, no one really cares about you. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll never know that. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges I'm tired of being quiet about. 
others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm going to start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. You got to get up to find your purpose. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your latter is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. You're going to have ups and downs in life. Things are going to go wrong. You're going to lose businesses. You're going to lose jobs. You're going to break up. And there are times when you get injured. And there are times when you get mentally defeated. And you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. And those days go on and on and on. Things are going to go wrong. And what you need to do is to keep moving forward. No matter what happens, keep moving forward. We all go through pain, get a reward for yours. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for, you don't need no money for, you don't need no support for. There's some things in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can't beat it. I can't beat it. I will beat it. I must. You think it's going to be easy? Forget about it. All right, don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. Whenever you start, you make sure you finish. If you do not kill me, you will not stop my drive. No petty adversity will not stop me. I have to complete every mission that I set out on. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. I believe in you, because I know it's there. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people. Well then you're gonna have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit. We can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an uncomfortable soul. It can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation.